Hey guys, Zio here. Welcome back to another video. I wonder if you're sick of my face right now since it's been a week since I started covering uh, all of this stuff here. Um, I've been trying to keep up with stuff. <laughs> so hopefully I can get three today. I, I know I've been like way off with my own scheduling here. Uh, but today we're talking about Madoc. Uh, they were a former, um, I think, volunteer uh, server member. And they're currently the owner of the Love Letter fan server, just to be clear about that. So we switch over to the desktop view. We can see here, this is their statement uh, from uh, three days ago, four days ago actually at this point. Whoops, my bad. <laughs> uh, so owner of the Love Letter community server speaks out about Dismal uh, from Project. I'm not sure Dismal, I think Dismal Departure or something like that. I think that's what their intention was. Uh, might want to fix that, guys. <laughs> um, this is Madoc. Uh, they were encouraged by by uh, some people, including Stanpy, uh, to come forward about stuff that uh, was happening in the fan server as well. And uh, he felt like he was uh, thrown under the bus uh, with the fan server because uh, they were getting a lot of questions, although they didn't have direct contact uh, with anyone who was currently on the team. So it's unfortunate that they were a line of contact that uh, had to be uh, you know dismissed. So we can go look at this screenshot here. Uh, Outsider explains her reasons for uh, removing Maddox from the server. It's because they wanted to have only people involved with the project be part of the, pro uh, the volunteer server. Uh, no more guests or anything like that. That's what they're thinking of doing with that. Uh, and then we can see in the second screenshot here, uh, they talked about addressing the explanation of uh, the LL uh, server. We can see that the um, outset's talking about a specific tweet. You can see the tweet right here. This is the tweet from uh, the uh, Bochan Feelings Twitter account, uh, and it's Madoc uh, stating that he was removed. Let me just move this back just a little bit so you guys can actually see it. Uh, boop, boop, there we go. And that, and there, boom, boom. You know, figure a better way of doing this so they don't cut things off. Uh, but yeah, we can see here, removed from the uh, volunteer server, and then over here as well. Uh, so he says that he thinks Outsu needs to go. Um, so that's some pretty harsh things to say uh, about that kind of thing, uh, but did not, it seemed like Outset didn't allow Maddox to explain himself um, and just blocked him, so it's kind of sad. I will have a large set of screenshots here. Uh, the basic summary I will give you guys uh, is that um, Ruka tried to uh, talk to Outset about you know, the topic of Maddox and why was he removed and maybe, you know, that was unjust. Maybe we want to move, put him back in. Um, I understand from the perspective of uh, Outset that, like, she wants just to keep things more organized, which kind of makes sense. But, like, you could, you know, allow Maddox to be some kind of, you know, third-party liaison between server, um, like, servers of volunteers and fans. Be, I think that's a cool idea. Um, but it's unfortunate that maybe they just stepped away from that. Um, I guess it makes sense if you maybe, uh, again, like Outset for herself said that she wanted to step away from all that because it's hard to manage, which I can understand. Again, I don't think I'd ever want my own server. I can't manage that, I think. Um, so that's all the screenshots here. And then uh, second to last screenshot we have here, it's uh, Calixta uh, and uh, Madoc. Uh, actually, was second to last? Second to last here. Um, we have... Uh, Calixa, for some reason, uh, like they were talking about um, being kicked and not sure why that Calixa wasn't aware of this. And for some reason, Ruka and Calixa, there's their screenshot from uh, their uh, conversation. And for some reason, I don't know why, we have it right here. I will contact con uh, Discord TOS. Thank you for your time. I'm like, what for? Exactly. So, for some reason, we don't know. Uh, we have some also contact from uh, Isa Isaki Isaki uh, as well, uh, talking about wanting to maybe leave uh, the project, which is kind of unfortunate for the team here. Um, I don't know. It's it's a it's a strange thing to have Maddock here, uh, saying that he was for a reason, and uh, it's kind of sad. Again, I would love to hear from uh, you know the actual Love Letter team, but again, they're on radio silence. And so uh, it's unfortunate that we can't really talk to them uh, any, about anything. So they'll, they've been develop, in development. If you want to check out their Twitter, too. Uh, they, they've uh, posted extra stuff that they've been doing. The YouTube channel had a new video stating new changes. Uh, they're still using the old model. Uh, I guess that there's just still a work in progress of the uh, new 
uh, character design and model. So I guess hopefully that gets resolved quickly or else um, there might be problems with uh, uh, the original creator, Boat and uh, Shortcake. They mm, do have the rights to the character. Uh, as far as I know, right? So anyways, uh, thank you guys for watching this video. Uh, next up, we're going to cover some statements from uh, former volunteers of the Heartbreak Project, uh, which was a project that was previously worked on with uh, Dr. Apius. Uh, so we'll cover that later. And uh, check out my playlist, playlist of all my other videos on this topic over there. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Boop!